Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video for EA Weekly. And today we are going to be talking about Automation Testing Roundup of October 2019. So if you have noticed, there was a long pause of this video from the last video I released on EA Weekly. So, so many things happened in the Exit Automation side where I released so many courses, new videos, not just for one automation testing tool, but for many different automation testing tool with many different language bindings. And in the meantime, there were also so many updates happened, not just in terms of a particular language of automation testing, but in many different tools and companies who are working towards automation testing field. So we are going to be talking about the complete roundup of these automation testing tools and technologies which has evolved over the period of time at least until October 2019. So we are going to be talking about a couple of months update until October 2019 and we'll see what are the new things which has changed all these days and what are the things which are going to change in our upcoming days from today. All right, so let's get started. So there were so many things happened in this recent times and so many things have changed in the automation testing fields that we have been discussing in our Exit Automation channel. And some of the most noticeable changes which happened in these days are for these products as you can see in here. So the October 2019 roundup participants are going to be Cucumber, Cypress, Catlon, Selenium and Test Project. So these five products as you can see has got so many different updates in past couple of months and they have released so many things and they were being acquired by many companies and now we are going to be talking about them in a complete detail. So the first participant of our October 2019 roundup update is going to be Cucumber. Cucumber 4 released like last year but it has gained a little less traction compared to the Cukes Cucumber that was released like in 2016 and there were so many different updates happened in the meantime in Cucumber 4 but not a lot of people tried to adapt to Cucumber 4 because there were so many different breaking changes happened and because of these Cucumber 4 created many different updates and now Cucumber is in Cucumber 5 RC1 which has released today while I'm releasing this particular video which is really awesome and before four months Cucumber was also acquired by Smart Beer a company behind many different automation testing tools like Test Complete on early 2007 and 2008. Test Project was pretty close to QTP and there was a direct competition going on by the time. But even now, Test Complete is really awesome because it has many different tools and technologies supported within its own tool. And also the popular SOAP UI, which I could see that a lot of people are still using for their API automation testing. So these different tools are being developed by the Smart Beer and the same company has now acquired Cucumber. And not only just Cucumber, they also try to acquire all the different BDD based companies, something like HipTest, which was acquired at least in last year, but it is kind of a BDD based company. So there is no doubt why Cucumber has been acquired by the Smart Beer company. And also Swagger is part of Smart Beer, which is really cool. So you can see that these different tools are now part of the Smart Beer company itself. So as you can see here in Cucumber, there were so many different breaking changes happened in these days. With Cucumber 5 RC update, there were so many different updates happened and we are going to be talking about the upgrade paths that we are discussing in recent times in our Exit Automation YouTube channel. So you can please go ahead and watch there. I started releasing an upgrade video for Cucumber 4. So I'm going to incorporate the Cucumber 5 RC1 update as well as a part of that particular playlist on our YouTube channel. And the next tool that we are discussing about is going to be Cypress. So Cypress has got many different updates in recent past and some of the major feature they released to the community is the parallel test execution feature. So the parallel test was something which was tied for a paid tier but now they also support parallel test execution for free tier which is pretty awesome. So we can leverage the power of Cypress executing in parallel and we can see how it actually works. And the next one is support of GitHub integration in Cypress and also with Cypress dashboard, which is pretty cool. And I have already discussed about that in our YouTube channel. You can go ahead and watch that. It's already released. So these different new features are really, really helpful if you're working with Cypress itself. And finally, there were a few bug fixes and performance improvement. And finally, the latest version of Cypress as of day today is 3.4.1. And not a lot of changes happened in past one month, but Finger cross, there is going to be a cross-browser testing support 
in Cypress coming soon. And the next tool that we can talk about is Catalan Studio. Catalan guys, it's pretty popular and you can see that I have released many different videos on Catalan and Catalan has no way that it's going to stop anything releasing many different updates to the community. So as you can see in recent days, Catalan started supporting the Windows application automation using WinApp driver. I have already released a video on that so you can watch that and again the WinApp driver is pretty awesome. Supporting with Catalan is also very good. Still there are some few bugs available in Catalan Studio. They are still working on it and that's why Catalan 7 is still in the beta stage. And Catalan SmartWait and Selenium's WebDriver event listener support is also very very cool because those things are something that the automation testing community has been waiting for so long. And finally the Catalium frameworks which was something released like five or six months before but it is now getting traction and I have started releasing videos on that and you can see how cool the Catalium framework is to be used by any person who have no knowledge in writing automation testing framework itself. And also Catalan tweeted a new tweet last week saying there is going to be a surprise coming to the community from the Catalan team. So if you go to the Catalan Studios page, so there is going to be a Catalan Studio Enterprise coming up soon. So the Enterprise version is something which is going to have a lot of different capabilities, something like single tool for multiple purpose and easy to use and exclusive enterprise benefit and advanced automation testing features. So these are some of the great things which are going to be coming to the Catalan Studio Enterprise. So stay tuned for the videos coming from Exit Automation on the same and we'll be discussing about all these different updates pretty soon. And finally Catalan Studio also released new logos for their product line. Something like Catalan Studio, Catalan Recorder, Catalium and Catalan Test Ops. So you can see that Catalium is really gaining the traction from the Catalan Studio team and it also gained a new logo altogether which is pretty awesome. So you can see that the future of Catalium is not going to be stopping anywhere in the near future. So these are some of the new updates from the Catalan Studios guys. So please stay tuned for the new videos coming from Ezra Automation on Catalan Studio and we'll be discussing about that soon. And the next tool very very popular among community is Selenium. And you can see that from Alpha 1 through Alpha 3, there were so many different updates happened and some of the most noticeable changes in Selenium 4 happening are like improved Docker support, support of Chrome Edge for Microsoft browser, support of relative locators finally, and support of Chrome DevTools with new APIs which will help us to get application cache, fetch, network, performance, profiler, resource timing, security, and target CDN domain. So these are some of the things which we were missing from Selenium which were there in other automation testing tools like Cypress and Puppeteer but right now they are coming directly to Selenium 4. So you can see that all these automation testing tools who are using Selenium as their wrapper something like Catalan Studio or Test Project they will have these features pretty much soon coming within their tool as well which is pretty awesome. So these different features that Selenium has released is going to be coming in our Exit Automation YouTube channel as well in our coming weeks and you will be seeing all these updates pretty soon. And finally the cool company that we'll be talking about is the Test Project. So the Test Project is really a cool company because the Test Project was an Israel based company and it has released so many different features which no other automation testing tools in the market have released and now Test project is acquired by Tricentis company as well. So Tricentis is a big company and acquiring test project is really a good move for Tricentis. The reason being test project has got a great portfolio of supporting many different technologies and it also bakes Selenium and Appium within itself. So it's going to be a great power for Tricentis itself. And test project started releasing many updates starting this year and one of the most noticeable feature this project release was the c -sharp language binding support. So we have already discussed about c -sharp .NET core language binding support from test project which is pretty cool and now the same power has been utilized for generating the code for c -sharp language binding which was not there for c -sharp at least but now it is also supported in c -sharp language binding to generate code for web, android and ios test application which is pretty awesome as well. So this is the complete roundup of the all the automation testing tools guys and in Excel Automation channel as well we are releasing many new videos of all these tools 
that we have talked about and we have already released a couple of videos before even this video is being released and in our upcoming days we are going to be releasing about these topics that we have discussed today in this particular video and finally just as a heads up we are going to be seeing some of the new videos coming from Ezra Automation channel in coming weeks something like updated cucumber 4 videos and rest assured videos and also Catalan Studios new Catalan Enterprise videos. So you'll be seeing all these videos coming pretty soon in our YouTube channel of Excel Automation. So once again, tell me what do you think about all these updates coming on these automation testing tools? Is this going to be helpful for your company or organization? Are your company or organizations is already using these different testing tools? Please let me know or put your comments below, which will be very, very helpful for the community while they see your comments on this particular video. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.